question. Not, you know, it's who he is. It's, you know, he's going to give the game whatever it needs. So if you need more scoring, he'll be scoring. He's in the paint, creating havoc. I think when they went to the double team, he got off the ball quick. And then we got good offense from that as well. But he's, he just gives the team a lot of confidence. You know, and I thought we had a number. I thought our bench, Josh was terrific. Quick gave us great minutes. Isaiah gave us great minutes. Uh, Julius made a lot of big plays for us. Um, so, it, you know, we had a stretch where we didn't play well in, in the first half and to close out the second quarter. And then we came out and we started the third well. And we sort of had a lull. And then, but it, it was steady. The bench came in and, you know, it got us to play with more poise. But, uh, Overall, just a good solid win. So is Jared positive of these one great game after another? Kind of wonder what everyone was thinking about having him on the offensive team. Well, you know, it's pretty, you know, I've said this before, it's pretty obvious, I think, to all of us because we see him every night, you know. And the, the unfortunate part of the All-Star thing is that there's not enough spots. So inevitably, someone deserving gets left off. But in my eyes, he's, he's an all-star. Uh, you know, I'm thrilled, obviously. Uh, Julius has had a monster, unbelievable season. And so, thrilled for him, very deserving. But I think the better the team does, the more will be re- the players will be recognized. Now, everybody saw the, uh, sorry, everybody saw the video of Jalen's body when he got traded for the farm. It's kind of, the best part was a big Going one. over the thing. Yeah, but I mean, you know, college boys play with each other all the time. I mean, you're necessarily getting you know, what you've seen the first two games. I mean, could you tell, right, when you were the first time one to Florida that they had something? Yeah, a I, it's, pretty, it's pretty easy to see. And and I think he has uh, good, really good chemistry with Julius as well. You know, they, they play together. But the thing with Jalen and he is to go through uh, big moments and have the pressure of winning a national championship together, I think, you know, that ties you together with that group forever. So their bond is special. And the thing I love about what Josh does for the team is it's for the team, everything, you know, and I think there's a lot of guys that, you know, score points in this league. and They really don't impact winning the way Josh impacts winning. And sometimes it's, it's just tough plays, you know, a hustle play, you know, kill yourself to get back in deep and we turn it over, sprint back, steal the ball back. You know, plays like that give your team a lot of confidence. And so and it's a lot of dirty work, but it's also the glue of your team. It, it helps you stick together. There's going to be ups and downs during a game, a season. And those types of guys, I think, are the type that help helps you build a winning culture. So, you know, we're, we're thrilled, obviously, to have him. And Tom, with, with um, Jalen, you said it, it's who he is, but he wasn't putting up these numbers in Dallas. I mean, I guess he did in the playoffs, but um, yeah. in, in that respect, uh, it, does he even surprise you with what he's doing? No, I, yeah, well, yes and no. Yeah. Like, so, like, I guess the part of it that doesn't surprise me is knowing his makeup. Like, I watched him grow in high school from a good player to a great player to a dominant player. And then he did the same thing in college. You know, he's, he starts at a certain spot and each year he makes a quantum leap. And then all of a sudden you look back and you say, wow. You know, like, and you can take it for granted because you don't realize it's incremental. And then you see, okay, this guy's doing this every night. And, and then it's impacting the team in a really positive way. He really cares about his teammates and cares about winning and he's a team first guy. So I'm not surprised knowing who he is and his makeup. Uh, he's never satisfied. He always wants to do better. He wants the team to do better. And so I think that type of leadership is the best leadership you could have. He's not one of those guys that's running around pounding his chest, 
telling you, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, or we got to do this, we got to do. He just shows you. He comes in, he's serious about practice, he's serious about preparation. Everything he does is, it just tells you team and it tells you winning. And that's the best leadership you could have. Coach, with, with Josh being on the team now and getting more minutes, what kind of lessons do you want to do, and, and Quentin to sort of learn from, from Josh? Well, I think having the, the, like, the type of veteran player that Josh is, is you can learn a lot from him. I think watching how he plays, he can impact the game without even scoring. He can impact the game in so many different ways, whether it's his rebounding, his defense, his hustle, running the floor, attacking the rim. You don't have to shoot great every night to play well. And he's a perfect example of that. And I think when you look at his career, you know, every every team, I know the teams that I was with since he's been in the league, we always had interest in him. Because if you coach against them or you play against them, those are the type types of guys that you uh, you respect. You respect the, uh, a fierce competitor. And obviously he's got great talent. He wouldn't be here without great talent, but his competitive spirit is, is special. To that. He, uh, he's hit really six, the five or six threes his first two games. He wasn't taking a lot. Um, Portland, did you try to make it clear maybe you weren't taking threes? Or... No, not really. I think when you look at his career, um, he's been around, roughly around 35. Even this year, he started off around that number. And then he had a month where he didn't make, but he's, he, he, I think he reads the game really well, you know, so if he's open, he shoots. If he's guarded, he drives it, you know, or it'll move, it'll be dry pass pass, you know, and so he's confident. Uh, he's, I wouldn't say he's, you know, I think he, he's great finishing. He's, he's not afraid to shoot. He, he knows how important that is. We, we want to be, if we're high volume and we're around league average, I know that puts us in a good spot. You said you gave him the green light. Ultra green. <laughs> <laughs> Did, talk about the similarities. I know it's only two games, but the similarities you've seen the two Villanova guys. Um, you know, hard playing, team oriented, smart, can think on your feet, uh, good basketball IQ, uh, playmakers. And when I say playmakers, I'm not talking about necessarily the pass. It's whatever the game needs. Do we need defense? Do we need hustle? Do we need an offensive rebound? Do we need what is what is it that we need? And they make that happen. You know, so I think with all those characteristics, that, that's also what drives achievement. It drives improvement. The more guys you have like that, the better it is for your team. So I think when you look at winning teams in this league, they prioritize those characteristics. Sounded like you just described a little Jimmy Butler there. I can tell you an interesting story. That's, Josh reminded me of when I was in Minnesota, we obviously studied him pretty extensively. And, and watching Jimmy in, uh, in college and the things he did at Marquette, Josh reminded me of that with the things that he did at Villanova. So, and you, there's just something about them. And, uh, you know, I think those, those type, type of players, they give your team heart, they give your team toughness, and that goes a long way. Do you remember your initial reaction to the I'm sorry? Do you remember your initial reaction when you knew you guys were getting the trade from? Yeah, no, I just, you know, I said, Leon, that's a Leon question. But, uh, you know, it, it, Leon's always looked at different guys, and he was always someone that we had talked about. And I knew if the right opportunity came, he would, and I'm thrilled that he did what he did. So he and his staff did a great job with that. And I think it's a, it's a great fit for our team. And, I think we all can see it. I know you got traded last year. You guys ever close to getting last year? Um, 
that would be okay. All right. Right? Give me the boss first. I thought you were going to mad boss. I'm going to write it down.